Hello everyone and welcome to World Cup 2022 predictions as we predicted yesterday Ecuador took quick work of Qatar this is the first time that the host nation loses its opening game and pretty much Ecuador dominated throughout that game now why is this important well um, the statistics are that 86% of the teams who win their first game go on to make it to the Sweet 16, to the next stage of the World Cup. So I'm gonna go through the games of each uh, first game for each team, and let's see who we think is gonna win. And um, that will have a lot of saying in terms of who makes it to the rest of this tournament. So starting here, um, tomorrow, Monday, we're gonna have some games. So Netherlands plays Senegal, at 11 now we know that Senegal is not having their uh, star player which is uh, Mane and that kind of decreases their chances of winning so uh, I'm picking Netherlands to win this game against uh, Senegal and not only to win but they might win a uh, big meaning you know they might win by two or three goals on this game the other Monday games are gonna be England and, Ar and Ar Ar Iran um, this game is important because you know it shows gonna show how England is gonna come out into this World Cup I think it's gonna be a tough game at the beginning, but I expect England to pull off I don't think they're gonna pull off by a lot of points, but um, They should win this game against Iran Especially in the second half and that can get ugly especially if Iran feels that they need to to do something different and uh, in that case England may run up the score and end up winning again uh, like the first one that I mentioned by two three or more goals now we have USA against Wales and this is gonna be a tough game for the USA again this game determines sometimes whether you move on or not especially with USA in this group uh, the teams you know that they can beat here are Wales and Iran I don't think they have a chance against England this year so they need this win now this is a game that I'm gonna predict to end up in a tie as you guys know, the guys that you follow um, this type of sports, their games can end in a tie. I'm predicting this game to end in a tie between USA and Wales. Down here, we're going to have Argentina on Tuesday. They, they're one of my picks for to win it all. I think they have a very tough team and great players. They play Saudi Arabia. I expect this to be a high-scoring game. Um, probably a blowout in Argentina to win by four goals or more. Mexico and Poland. This is another game that could end up in a tie. You know, these uh, teams are, are very well matched. Now I'm going to give the edge to Mexico and send they win by a small margin, maybe a goal or two. Uh, down here in Group D, hopefully you can see that well. Also on Tuesday, we have Denmark play Tunisia. I expect this to be a blowout and Denmark to win easily. And then we have France and Australia. Another blowout, I expect France to actually win by three or more goals in this game. Let's move over to the other half of the field. So here we are with groups E through H. And starting at the top, we have Germany uh, playing a, a tough game against a very quick and uh, team in Japan. They're usually not only quick, but they have high stamina. Now this German team has some players that have been playing for a while. so. Um, this is going to show whether they, they, they got what it takes or are the players too old, are they playing too conservative. If the old Germany comes back to play in their old form, they should make quick work of Japan. Again, it's, this is a game that could get out of hand and Germany could score four goals or more easily on Japan. Spain and Costa Rica should be a closer game. I think this game is only going to be one by one or two goals and I'm giving the edge on Spain for this game. Moving here to Group F, we have Morocco versus Croatia. Uh, I expect Croatia to win this game. They have the great Luka Modric, and uh, uh, he's, he's one of my favorite players. I like how he plays. I expect Croatia to win easy. Uh, three, four uh, goals they should be scoring against them. Another high-scoring game should be Belgium. Again, one of my favorite teams here in this World Cup. They are very stacked with very good players. They play Canada. Um, I don't think Canada is ready for what is going to happen to them uh, with Belgium. Belgium should score, again, four or more goals against this team of Canada. 
And Group G, we have Switzerland playing the Cameroon team. I love to see the African teams. Uh, Cameroon is very exciting. They move forward. They like to make long kicks. Um, this should be an exciting game, but at the end, the Swiss are very cool, calm, and collected. They play great defense. Uh, some people say they might play even a little dirty. They're, they're tough. So Switzerland should win this game against Cameroon. Then we have Brazil. All eyes are on Brazil. Brazil is the one that's won the most championship. You see here, they actually won five times overall. But um, they haven't won since uh, 2002. That means 20 years they haven't won. So they 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 want to prove something in this World Cup. And I think you know they're going to come right off the bat and score plenty of goals on this for game to win against Serbia. And last but not least, we have Group H, where we have Uruguay versus Korea. Now this might be a do or die game right here. Uh, one of the few like that because these teams are only going to beat each other or Ghana because they don't have a chance of beating Portugal. So whoever wins this game is probably going to be the one who advances to the next round. Uh, I think it's going to be a tough game. Korea has great stamina. My money is on Uruguay, but it's going to should be a small margin of win uh, for Uruguay. And then the last team, Portugal. I've been rooting uh, for them since the 80s, probably since I started watching uh, the World Cup. Um, and, and they always come up short, but I expect them to just route Ghana and score probably as much as six goals against them. So there you have it guys. Like I said, the first games are very important. Um, they, you know, they determine by 86% who goes on and wins the whole thing. So I hope you enjoy this. Let me know who you think is going to win. Tell me who are some of your favorite teams and I'll be back here probably in the weekend to kind of recap what we talked about and talk about some games and see you know who's gonna make it into the Swiss 16 and and of eight and four and two and then become the champions i hope you guys are enjoying the world cup this year talk to you later